Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to start a series for me, which it's going to be, um, by B-U-Y or by B-Y-E. So, um, I know they both sound really, you know, similar to one another, but I thought that that would be cute. <laughs> so, today is going to be my first review, and it's going to be on the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Um, first of all, I can tell you that um, I will not be wearing this foundation for 24 hours, so I will not be able to give my opinion on that. So, but I am going to wear it as long as I possibly can. So, um, what I'm going to do is that I am going to prep my face and everything and, um, by putting on my, um, foundation, not my foundation, my primer and my moisturizer and my concealer to color correct. And then I'll come back and show you the application of the foundation. Okay? So, um... We're going to work this out together because, as I said, this is my first review, and so I really want it to go well. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I have um, gone ahead and put on my moisturizer, um, my primer. What I'm using as a primer would be the Revitalift Miracle Blur by L'Oreal. I figured I would use another L'Oreal product to test this out. And I've gone ahead and I've color corrected. So, okay. Now, I am in the color, um, Caramel Beige, and, um, what it says about this foundation is that it gives a demi-matte finish, it wears up to 24 hours, and it's medium coverage, as well as it gives an air light texture. Now, also on the, um, on the commercial, it says it holds up to heat, humidity, and sweat. So, um, we'll see how that, that holds up. So, it says, um, smooth onto skin in rolling motion for flawless coverage. So. So I'm just putting it on the back of my hand. And I am going to start in the center of my face. And the brush that I'm using is, um, the Real Techniques Face Brush.
Okay. Mm. So, um, it does dry to, um, it's, it's dry. It dries quickly. So, um, I guess it, I guess it would have to be something that you're going to have to work kind of quickly with. And, um, the coverage is, um, matte. It is a matte coverage. So, and it feels really nice on the face. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, it feels like I have on nothing. So, it feels just like, um, it did when I put on the primer. So, it's like a silky, um, feel. So, um, once again, it is the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I'm in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. Um, it does say that it oil control. So, oil control, an ear light texture, and medium coverage, and it wears up to 24 hours and a demi matte foundation, uh, demi matte um, finish. So, um, so far, yes, it's a demi matte finish. Um, the coverage, it says it's medium. Mm, yeah, it, it's, it's a medium, I would say it's a medium coverage foundation. And, um, the texture is air light. Yes, I can, I can say that. So, so far, so good. So, okay, it is now, um, 11.23, well, 11.24. So, um, I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be back to show you um, the finished look. Hi, I'm back and um, I finished applying my makeup and um, I didn't have any problems um, blending in anything on top of the foundation so um, it held up pretty good. So, I am going to go about my day and do some errands and things like that. And I will be back in a couple hours to check in. Now, once again, this is a review on the um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I'm in the shade um, Caramel Beige 108. And um, it says that it has a lasting demi matte finish. Um, it's up to 24 hour wear. It's medium coverage. Um, it has an ear like texture as well as the commercials hold out that it is resistant against heat, humidity, and sweat or perspiration. So, um, we're going to see how that holds up. So, I will be back in um, a couple of hours to let you know how um, the foundation is holding up. Now, I did set it with the Infallible 16-hour, um, powder. And as well as I sprayed my face with Fix Plus, but I did not use 
a setting, well, I did not use a setting spray. So, um, yeah. So, once again, I will be back in, um, in a couple hours to let you know how it's wearing and how it's holding up. Okay? So, I'll see you then. Hi, and I am back, and um, just to give a quick overview, I am doing a review on the Infallible um, Pro Matte 24-Hour Foundation, and um, I don't recall what time it was. It was when I put it on this morning. It was... 10 something or 11 something I'm going to have to go back and look but it is now um, 5.35 in the afternoon and I have um, been out running you know some errands and things like that so I've been out it's not a hot or humid day, so we can't um, test as to whether the um, foundation holds up to heat and humidity. It is a very nice day outside. So, um, but I did perspire a little um, when I was doing some things, so... Um, and it holds up to that, so I guess that's one claim that we can say it, it did hold up to, as well as the other claims that um, it has demi matte finish, um, it's medium coverage, and air light texture. So, um, yeah, so far so good, and um, I'm just going to finish going about my day, and I will check in, check back in, um, in a couple of hours to, um, let you know how it, how it's going, how it's wearing. So, um, I'll see you back in a couple of hours. <laughs> Bye. Hi, and I am back. It is now 8.52. <sighs> I've had this foundation on for since 10, 11 o'clock this morning. So, and um, I haven't had to powder. I haven't had to touch up, um, and it is still going strong, so, um, it held up to, um, perspiration or sweat, it held up to that, um, I couldn't test whether it held up to heat or humidity, but it did hold up to, um, to sweat. Now, um, once again, this is the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. And um, it says that the finish is a demi matte finish, which it was. Um, it said it was 24 hour wear. Well, we're not going to test that one. Um, the coverage was medium coverage, so it, it was a good coverage to the foundation, and the texture was air light, and um, when I first put on the foundation, it my skin felt as if I didn't have anything on, and as far as the texture of my face, it felt like what it would feel like right after you put on 
um, a primer. So, um, yeah. So, this held up to basically everything it said that it would. So, this would be something that I would buy again. So, um, I would recommend it. I would recommend it to um, people with combination oily skin um, because I have combination skin and I did not have any breakthroughs. I usually get oily in my T zone, and I didn't have any breakthroughs, so that was good. And it does say that um, well control. So, um, once again, I'm in the color Caramel Beige, and as, you know, you seen when I applied it, it looked a little light, but, um, I, I don't want to say it oxidized, it, it did, how should I say it, it was a good color match for me, even though it looked like it was light. Um, so yeah, this would be something that I would buy again. So, um, I thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and um, spend time with me. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel as of yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So, um, excuse that sound. That was my phone. <laughs> so, have a wonderful, blessed day. And I hope that I was able to um, bring, you know, you information that you could use on you know with this foundation so have a wonderful blessed day and i'll see you in the next video bye